Visualization technique for the sternoclavicular joint. At the proximal end of the clavicle, place the thumb over the clavicle and the index supported with the other fingers just under the clavicle. Now, to apply the posterior glide, you need to push with the thumb downward. So this is posterior glide, either sustained or oscillatory. The posterior glide will increase the retraction of the clavicle. Now, with the same grasp, but you are focusing mainly on your index, supported with the other fingers, and the force will be upward to apply superior glide. Oscillatory or sustained, and this will increase the depression of the clavicle. The other uh, two glides, different to grasp, you can either use two fingers or more, depending on the size of your hand. I will apply inferior glide and anterior glide. I'm trying to reach the clavicle from the inside. I will apply inferior glide, the direction of the force is downward. So inferior glide, sustained or oscillatory to increase the elevation of the clavicle. With the same grasp, I'm reaching under the clavicle and I will apply the force upward. This is to apply the anterior glide, either sustained or oscillatory to increase the protraction of the clavicle. You need to be really gentle here because we are near the neck and make sure that you are not really being harmful to the model.